So Patricia, tell us about Hats Off to Life. Well, Hats Off to Life is a project that grew out of Art Meets Fashion, which of course you did with me in uh, 2010 and culminating in 2011. When we got done with that project, there was so much enthusiasm. And, um, and although we didn't want to do the project over again another year, this became a little small offshoot project. Um, so the main idea was to take um, a retirement community, interview them, find out about the uh, residents' lives, and then matchmake them with artists who would then learn about their lives and create hats that celebrated those lives and illustrated them. Wonderful. And so why this particular retirement community, Fairwinds in Oceanside? Well, th to that we have to thank Denise Boami uh, Saram. She's, she's now married, so she, <laughs> she has her hyphenated name now. <laughs> and, um, and she was a big part of Art Meets Fashion. She was in charge of the mannequin projects, and she was also involved in one of the teams. Um, and so she got a job at this retirement home um, just shortly after we got the idea. And I love it when things all fall in place like that. Uh, so she was the perfect one to approach to do this. Also, it's in North County, and um, most of the activities for Art Meets Fashion were um, in North Park, downtown, and at the um, the NTC at po in Point Loma. So doing something in North County helps us to spread the idea that the San Diego Visual Arts Network, who is uh, the producer of the project, covers the entire county of San Diego and Baja Norte. Wonderful, great. And so the uh, artists that were chosen to uh, do this project, how were they chosen? You know, we have wonderful volunteers and all we had to do is make a simple announcement and put out the word and announce to our really vast data bank that we were doing this project and anyone who would like to be involved should step forward and that's how it was done. And um, so obviously they were not necessarily people that had made hats um, as a living. They weren't professional hat makers. They were artists and so the hats, the outcome of that is that the hats that you see are or more artworks than they are hats, although they're all wearable. Absolutely. And so the artist's job was to meet with these uh, accomplished models, so to speak, mm -hmm. and learn about their life story and then create a work of art, uh, i.e. a hat, to, to really reflect that person's life story. That's right. And they, they weren't assigned to tell the entire life story. They instead um, were, were just to have a reaction to the story and include their own aesthetic of the sort of things that they made in their own art at the same time. So um, they weren't to shift gears completely. They were supposed to integrate uh, their own artwork into the hat. Wonderful. And so then once the hats were completed, you have local photographers, hair and makeup artists come in and do a full photo session, is that right? That's right, and that's, um, that's why the results are so stunning, because these were all highly professional people, and they did a brilliant job of, um, of making the models look the best they could possibly look, and the photographers made just, uh, again, not just your standard uh, photograph, but really art photographs of each of the models. Absolutely. And then you had a fashion show at Fairwind's retirement community. Yes, and you know, it wasn't as challenging as I thought, walkers and all, <laughs> <laughs> and because the models really got into it, yep. and they were just adorable. Thank you so much for being the MC <laughs> yeah, for, like, for, that, for that event. I thought it was just one of the most charming things I'd ever uh, been involved with, because they were just so dear, and they were so proud. Uh, to be able to show off the hats, and the whole community was there. The 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 room was completely full, standing room only. Yes, yes. <laughs> and so it was it was really a lovely day. Wonderful.